A longtime Albuquerque swing dancing group is going head to head with city government over a city policy that some dancers worry will ruin their weekly events. News 13's Chris McKee explains. It's this Albuquerque swing. And these big, young, footloose like crowds that dancers like Megan Plaisance want to see continue. We have close to 500 people who regularly attend. But she and others who go to the weekly Tuesday Swing Dance Group now worry their crowds may soon fade away from the Heights Community Center. Just the dance floor was empty last night. That, Megan thinks, is thanks to a newly enforced two-year-old city policy requiring everyone going to a community center now to register for a free membership, then scan their city-issued cards to get in. One of the rules of the community center is you must be registered to participate. The city's community center director, Kristen Chavez-Smith, says it's for safety and better activity tracking. One is just to know who's coming in and out of our centers on a regular basis. We're also trying to capture really accurate data and numbers. When we can show how successful these activities are, we can advocate for more funding. But some swing dancers think the city policy is just too much. You add this obstacle and they're going to find somewhere else to go hang yeah. out. Spearheading the Save Tuesday Swing online campaign, Megan and others want the city to back off of the membership requirement. They've got more than 700 support signatures on a change.org petition. We have a ton of people who don't come regularly or don't come consistently enough to kind of want to put all their information to a database like this. The city says it wants to work with the group to find a solution. Our intent is absolutely not to hurt activities. Chris McKee, KRQE News 13. The city is planning on meeting with the Tuesday Swing Group again next week. They say so far no community center activity has ever gone away due to that new membership requirement.